Hey everyone, Ian here at NAB 2017. I'm stepping over to the Panasonic booth with Mitch Gross. It is uh, April 2017 and we are going to talk about something that's happening in June of 2017 with the Vericam. Yes, the Vericam LT, we announced here at the show that we have yet another feature coming for it and it is another free feature that's coming for it. So it'll be a free firmware update. The camera can record in 2K at 240 frames per second. It can do that internally. It's a 4K camera, but it can take the sensor and window to get a 2K extraction from it, so there's no artifacts, no weird things going with line skipping or anything like that. It can do that internally, and it's always been able to do that. But what we're adding to it is taking that 2K frame up to 240 frames a second, and we'll also output it in RAW. So Convergent Design with the Odyssey 7Q+, Plus, it supports our raw output, and they also announced in conjunction with us that in June, from both of us, there'll be a free firmware update from us, free firmware update from them, to record that 2K, 240 frame per second signal. When you do the 2K, is it going to be a window? In other words, is it gonna change perceptually the angle of view of your lens? Yes, you're going to sort of a Super 16 size frame, uh, but by doing that, you get pixel for pixel, photo site for photo site, a very clean image. And again, we retain our dual native ISO sensitivity so you can really get a really rich frame out of that. So you get the tighter part of the frame, you also can extend your lenses if you want to think of it that way. And when you do this, you're not going to have to worry about uh, what the compression is doing to the signal or what you know, is happening because you're taking a raw signal and it's going to be recorded in cinema DNG it's going to be that uh, it's a 10-bit 2k raw signal uh, what are, any other goodies that come with this update well with this update there's going to be a few little things that we're going to slip in here and there and we'll announce all those bits and pieces uh, in June when we actually have the firmware update. I think that Convergent's got a few other things up their sleeves with theirs too. You're going to have to ask them about it. But this will all be coming very soon. I mean we're only talking month and a half away or something like that. So this is a fully working demo that we're doing here at the show and we can go ahead and hit record here. That's recording right now at 240 frames a second in raw files and then it will be fully implemented and working for everyone to get in just a very short time. Okay, and you've also mentioned something about another thing over on another side of the floor. So uh, maybe we'll go over and check that out. Sounds good. All right, so here we are. I, uh, this is unrehearsed, this is real. Uh, okay, Mitch, you literally have something under a cover here. So what are we, what are we looking at here? We're, we're not quite peeling off the veil yet, but what we want people to know is that Panasonic recognizes that there's lots of parts to the production world and different segments of the market, you want to talk business style. So there's the GH5 here, and we have the Vericam LT, and then the bigger Vericam 35 and Pure, and there's a big range in between that we weren't quite covering yet. So we're letting people know that there's going to be a camera that's going to do that. We're going to have a camera that is has that cinematic style of imagery. It's going to be smaller and lighter weight. It's going to have a uh, less expensive workflow that's also a very straightforward workflow and the media will be less expensive for people. It's a camera that's you know sort of meant for that scale of the audience and that type of production. It's you know meant to be you can sort of get a sense of the physical size and shape of it. We're not giving away all the details right now. We're just letting people know, hey, this is coming. But it's not vaporware either. This is going to be shown at Cinegear, which is only five weeks away. We're going to actually pull away the curtain. And then you, people have a more we'll have a, a bit of preview, some more details about it. And then this camera is actually going to be shipping in the fall. We're going to be available to people then. OK, at Cinegear, is it going to be a mock-up, or is it going to be a what? We will be previewing the camera at Cinegear. Okay, you heard it from Mitch, and by the fall, shipping in the fall, we will know everything and everything there is to know about. What should we call it? Project Project X. We'll call it the next camera. The next camera. Okay. <laughs> well, there you have it. Look forward to the next camera. All right. One more thing, Mitch. Uh, we noticed a new AU XPD3 which is a Thunderbolt 3 reader. Right, so 
the biggest challenge with these uh, great cameras that everyone wants a deeper bit rate, they want these really rich files and stuff, but it's a lot of media and you just time on set and time in the hotel room after the shoot and stuff, getting your material off. These are Thunderbolt 3 enabled. It's an Express P2 card reader, but it really is designed for to use all of the different P2 media. So even with the adapter, a little micro P2 card, you can do it. But your big advantage is going to be on the big cards. Right. Where you've got a lot of data on there. Thunderbolt 3, we can get a full 512 gig card downloaded. If you've got the computer set up, configured right, seven minutes. Seven minutes to get that whole card off. And then these can daisy chain. You can daisy chain up to, to six units. So one unit is going to give you a 10 megabit a second uh, pass through, uh, throughput, but you can take two of them and daisy chain, and then you get 17.6 megabit a second, or gigabit a second. And so now two 512 gig cards, so a terabyte of information, in eight minutes. So that's eight times the speed of USB 3. You're really clocking in now, and you know you can get your day done. You can stack six of them. So if you're in production with multi-camera systems and stuff, you can really be able to get that material off. And time is money, as we all know. It's That's 1850 uh, is the list price on it, and it's shipping in June. Okay, fantastic new solution. That wraps up our look at new things from Panasonic at NAB 2017. Mitch, thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. We'll see you again soon.